So what happened to you, Steve? Some asshole. You won't freaking believe it. Freaking scratch my goddamn car. Not, not this much, this much, but just freaking much. Look at that shit. Scratchy, 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 scratchy. And he had a bit of a better go down here. Butthole. Now I'm gonna have to fix it. All right, chums. Some butthole decided to run into my pride and joy while I was out doing my own business. Worst thing feeling ever. So now we're gonna have to try and fix it. All right, guys, so analyzing the damage from this dickhead. Um, he's got me quite a few times. He's got me here and looks like he hasn't quite gone through all the way. There's two scratches here if you get nice and close. One looks like he's actually gone through all the way, but as you can see, I'm wiping my hand away. I'm actually wiping the paint out. But you probably shouldn't do this until the car is completely clean because you can actually make it worse. But we'll try and uh, cut that out and we've got some more up here. And they look pretty bad too, but we'll do a full blown buff and cut and see if we can get it back. All right, now that your car's all clean and dry, um, now we're gonna clay bar it. Pretty much that just lifts the contaminants out. So, just get your clay bar, a nice flat, and use a uh, quality branded uh, lubricant or a cleaner, whatever it does. Just rub. Just in this case, because we're fi fixing the scratches, we just do over the scratches. This is just gonna prepare the surface a little bit better for us. And not only that, Sometimes this alone can get very, very fine light scratches out. So as we go down the line, the heavier and heavier the treatment becomes. So let's do that. See already a bit of dirt and crap coming out. Okay, get shut off. Micro fiber towel, wipe it down. And inspect. Well this arsehole decided to go scratch it light here and get heavier and heavier down the line it looks like because this looks like it's going through quite heavily. But up here, it's starting to get through it already. Move on to the next step. All right, now we've got to um, cut the surface. So this pretty much step is, is actually microscopically cutting the um, top layer of the paint. So in a nutshell, it's trying to get the scratch level with the, um, with the paint and that way you won't be able to see it. So I'm just going to get a cutting compound here. And as everyone would know, black cars are the worst. So we'll do it by rag first before we use the buff. Fiber again and wipe her away. That bastard. It's a decent scratch. We might move on to the buff now. So we've got a cutting compound on our buff here. If you don't know how to buff, we'll teach you at a future video. But for now, this is how we're gonna get the scratch out. So just gonna rub her in. Put her to the lowest setting for now just to get her in. And now she's in. I'm going to go a slightly higher speed. Out. It's got a little bit out.
All right, so now that we've um, cut the uh, surface, there's still a little bit of uh, blemish is showing. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna get a very light uh, cutting polishing wax. And hopefully I'll just get rid of the last little bit and bring a nice shine to it. Do my setting. Microfiber towel, just wipe away the excess. As you can see, it's gotten rid of it pretty good. There's still a couple of little ones left, but it's most of it's pretty much gone. But um, if we repeat the process on this little guy here, I'm sure we'll be able to uh, get rid of her. But um, just be sure to be, be a little bit more caref careful on your second time, especially when cutting. You don't want to go all the way through and have this big um, non-painted spot. So that's, that's pretty much how you get rid of it.